Hi guys and welcome to today's Zoo to You. We're at Stone Zoo. My name is Courtney. I'm a senior keeper here at Stone. And we're going to be meeting one of my favorite animals, Blue, our cougar. So he's hanging out behind me. He's going to play a little game. Um, one of his favorite games is to stalk us and wait for us to play with him. And then he'll come running forward. So you'll see he's going to wait till my back is turned. Um, Blue is an eight-year-old cougar. His birthday is coming up now. He is rescued from the wild. He came from Idaho. <laughs> uh, one of his favorite things is being scratched. He responds really well for it uh, to it, so we use it for training. So he's going to come back up and say hi. He can be a little shy sometimes. He weighs um, currently about 140 pounds. Males are usually around 150. Females weigh around 100. These guys are solitary which is a common question we get here at the zoo with a lot of our cats. Most cats are solitary. They don't want to hang out with another cat. They want to protect their own territory and their own resources. So he's perfectly happy being by himself. He also looks at the keepers here like we are his group. Um, he was raised here. So he has a special bond with a couple of our keepers here that helped raise him. Um, he's a little bit sillier than other cougars because he was hand raised. You'll probably hear him meowing a lot. And he also does hiss at people a lot. He can be a little rude. Um, cougars actually have a ton of different names. Um, they hold the record for the most names. They have over 40. So you'll hear different people call him a mountain lion, a puma, a cougar, a catamount. Um, there's also a couple interesting names like mountain screamer. Um, these guys were found throughout the United States and Canada. They've been pushed down a little bit further. They're found mostly on the West Coast now. And then there is a subspecies found in Florida that's critically endangered. Blue's going to take a little walk around. These guys are primarily ambush hunters. Um, so that's why he likes to play that game where he hunts us. It's kind of like he's treating us like prey. Um, and these guys kind of get a bad rap. They've had a couple encounters with people on the west coast up in the mountains. But for the most part, you're not going to see a cougar. He's playing with some good enrichment right now. Um, we give them all different types of things like paper bags um, that he's shredding. He also gets balls. And then today is actually rabbit day, which is one of their favorite days. We give him all different types of scents and stuff to play with to elicit natural behaviors. Uh, we had a couple questions come in in the chat. Um, how did he get his name? Uh, so he was actually named because he flew here on a JetBlue flight. So he got named Blue after that. Awesome. And what is Blue's favorite type of enrichment? Um, it kind of varies. He gets really into spices. Sometimes he's very into like ginger or pumpkin pie spice. Um, but some days he is super into bags. <laughs> um, I know that sometimes when people come by the exhibit, they can't often see him. If you can't see him, where might he be? So there's two places to check out. He does like to sleep in the back corner a lot and he'll lay very flat and he blends in. But he also gets access inside a lot of times. Um, sometimes he's nervous, especially if we have a lot of school groups. He'll get a little nervous with the big crowd, so he'll have access so he can hide inside if he wants to. Um, and Debbie wants to know, does he get any live food? He does not get live food. Um, occasionally, animals will wander into his exhibit, but we do not offer live food. Um, and you mentioned that since he was raised by um, the zookeepers here, he's really has close bonds with them. Can you go in with Blue? We do not go in with Blue. We don't go in with any of our dangerous animals here at the zoo. It's a very common question we get. Even though he was raised by us, that actually makes him more dangerous. He has no fear of people. So he would look at us like something he could hunt or something he could play with. And 150 pounds of cat with large teeth and claws is not something I want to encounter. So we always make sure there's some sort of barrier in between us and him. Awesome. And we had one other question come in from Ann. Um, she was wondering how old is he? Blue is eight this year.
All right. Thanks for tuning in, guys, and have a great day.